Welcome to another episode of Moving On Purpose. This is your boy Chris. This is your boy Jarrell. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's get How it. You living, brother? I'm all right, man. How you feeling, man? man? Another day, another dollar. Yeah. It's the weekend. Happy Friday. Same. Long awaited. Much needed. Word up. Word and up. honestly, we ain't even gonna waste no time with it, bro. We're just gonna dive Jump into right it. Right in. Because honestly, right this is the type week I done had. It's been a long week. I feel that. Long week of discipline. That. Long week of hitting goals, achieving things, mm-hmm. staying locked in. I feel that. I but now it's that. the weekend and I'm trying to go <laughs> up. <laughs> so, I'm fading, feeling x ray. You dig what I'm saying? So, hey, yo. today we want to talk a little bit about balancing discipline and growth. Um, mm-hmm. How do you balance discipline? discipline? And fun. Oh, discipline <laughs> and growth. I'm my bad. Discipline and fun. Okay, discipline and fun. Definitely want to balance that discipline mm-hmm. and fun. Um, so diving into it, bro, you want to dive right into the quote? Yeah, let's dive right into it. Let's dive right into it. All right, Brett. So by Lou Holtz, I didn't do my research on this one. I don't know who Lou Holtz Hopefully is. Hopefully he's a good dude. Hopefully he's he he quoting a <laughs> reputable source. <laughs> but from Lou Holtz, we have winners embrace hard work. They love the discipline of it. The trade-offs, they're making a win. Losers, on the other hand, see it as a punishment. And that's the difference. Mm. One more time. Winners embrace hard work. They love the discipline of it. The trade-offs they're making to win. Losers, on the other hand, see it as a punishment, and that's the difference. Mm. Yeah. Strong words, one more man. Yeah, Lou. Right. Winners and losers. You drew a fine line. Winners and losers. <laughs> no in between, man. Yeah, he said no. Nah, there's no, no left. There's no gray area. No gray area. Which, how you feel about that? What you think on that? Ultimately, and I think. We're gonna cover it here. Mm-hmm. I feel like it all depends what you want, right? Mm-hmm. Now, in terms of winners, what does winning look like to you? Mm-hmm. Does winning look like having a more so casual life where you could turn that switch on and off in right. terms of being super disciplined and working super hard? Or is it being at the top of your craft, being the best of the best? This all depends on what you want. So. In terms of what he's saying as far as the winners embrace discipline, I agree. In order to get to where you want to get to and do what you got to do, you have to embrace those certain elements of discipline, mm-hmm. locking in, shutting down distractions, and um, really locking in with that focus. But on the other hand, it's okay to understand that there are sacrifices. You may embrace the sacrifices, but at first you may not have embraced them the whole time. You know what I mean? Right. They may have been a struggle to let go. So I do feel what he's saying in terms of like winners embrace the struggle mm-hmm, of it, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to necessarily say, actually, I, I just talked myself into agreeing with it. Like I do agree with it now right, because right, right. it's like, yeah, That's you do. Point. You do start embracing it after um, mm-hmm. after a while. After you've been doing it, yeah. you just it, you get that little chip on your shoulder. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna do something different. No, for sure. How you feel about it? I agree with it. I agree with it. Also, yeah. like, you have to embrace the hardship. You gotta embrace the struggle. You gotta embrace your journey. I feel like, um, and as far as the losers, on the other hand, see it as a punishment. I agree too, cause like it's. I would, but it's a little harsh. It's like I wouldn't say you were complete. Like, yeah, it was harsh. That's why I was against it. Guessing. It's a little harsh. Yeah. Like to say, oh yeah, but but I see I see what he was going for. Like if you're every time a challenge appears, you're like oh man, I have to. Yeah. But I have to. You feel yeah. me? All of that. It's like all right. It's only only so many of those before you feel me. You're you're you're, you're soaking in it. So. I definitely agree. Like you have to, you have to like em, like just take that shit on. Like yo, I to gotta get to. Per- Sorry, my bad. You go, you go, you go. To speak to a personal ex- example of this though, just this week, I was kind of like dreading not being able to play my usual role at work because my mm-hmm. manager is on paternity leave as I right, talked right. off camera. Right. Um, so I just had to do a lot of backfilling for mm-hmm. him, and he he's like two levels higher than me, so right. it was really intimidating. But there was a point where I was just sitting there thinking about all the stuff I had to do and all the stuff I had to like cover this week, and I was just like, I'm gonna embrace it. Like I'm gonna run towards mm-hmm. what I fear, mm-hmm. and that was just so relieving. Mm-hmm. I just felt so. Um, I'm looking for the word, but just I can't find it. I just felt empowered. Yeah, right, it was right. empowering. Yeah. That was the word. Nice. When you're like struggling and creating that victim mindset, running away from mm-hmm. the sacrifice and the hard work. 
it creates that victim mindset. Yeah. You just feel like you can't do anything. Right. You're just so disempowered. Right. Um, so I understand what he was saying. At first, I, I was kind of, I felt attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, damn, why I got to be a loser? Because right, right, like, right. I'm going to go chill. I feel that. But um, I, I definitely it. agree 100%. Now I feel that. And like you said, like the um, how you felt empowered, like you're building that muscle too. Yeah. Because that's not the only time that's going to come up. So every time you in that war in your mind, I call it like, like on, like off camera, I call it, that's the bitch voice. You feel mm-hmm. me? It's like, uh, don't go to the gym today. Um... Yeah, you could just, you know, just just let somebody else do it. But when you feel me, when you that's 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 real talking like, nah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you feel me? Right. Nah, let me take it on. Let me on. Uh, let me go. I'm gonna hit the gym today. That's 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 your real inner self speaking for you right there. And I think that inner battle is like you feel me between that where it's like you just gotta overcome it. You just gotta how you did. You overcame it. You feel me? You saw it. It was like all right. You saw the challenge. Rose to it. And that's all it's about, for real. I think. Let me ask you a question. To that point, do you believe in burnout? Um, I don't believe in bur- I think, yeah, I believe in burnout, but not as to... Because I feel like to be burnt, like, until, like, you're physically or, like, mentally impaired, I don't think you've burnt out. Mm. I feel like burn- burning out is, like, loosely thrown around. Mm. Where it's like, yo, you might feel some fatigue. Like, oh, I'm burnt down. Let me just, you feel me? Or it's like, um, a challenge. Like we're talking about, a challenge comes up. We're like, oh, I'm burnt out. Just like necessarily avoiding it. But I think there's a time where you need rest. You need a break. You know, you need to um, ease off the gas a little bit. But you got to be like 100% honest with yourself. Like, yo, this whole week I've been given 10 hours a day, and it's really like, yo, I need, I need, I need to ease off. But yeah. if it's like, yo, you work two days, or you're not going that hard, or you don't. You're not at that max level. It's like you're not burnt out. You just see the top. No, you're not even tired, bro. You just yeah, you, you try to see. You don't want to do it. You like yeah. And I've been there. You feel me? It's like sometimes at the gym, you try to do that last rep. Like mm, I did enough. Bro, I did enough today. <laughs> I did enough today. I did, I'm here. I'm here. God damn it. So I definitely, I definitely know. Like, but yeah, just just so you don't voice. believe even after like. So, I mean, no, I guess you did say you, you do believe in burnout. So, mm-hmm. it sounds like you believe in, like, taking mini breaks and acknowledging yourself. So, what's that balance look like? And, like, how do you achieve it? To, to be you? honest, I like that we're talking about balance and discipline and fun. Because I don't think there's a balance in it. Mm. It's learning how to how to cope with being disciplined. Because it's not fun being disciplined. So that's where it's like to try to balance it. Or you can try to find fun in with what you disciplined in. So those are either two. But I think like, let's say you go a, like, you go a whole month of just like paying it, going at it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> so I know, you hear that nudie song? You hear that nudie nah, song? No. I got to tell you a song. Nah, <laughs> <I know. laughs> So you just go a straight month and you like, all right, I need, I need like a day or two just to, you know, replenish or refresh. Yeah, go at it. You feel me? Let off. But make sure when you are, at least this is, I'm just speaking from my, uh, my experience. I think when you, when you are like going that route, make sure when you're having fun, yo, you're having fun. Don't be thinking like, oh, I should get home and da, 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 da. Just make sure you're fully like, yo, I'm, this is my, like vacation this is my time away where i get to like ease off like you're not halfway easing off for like and i like <laughs> speaking of vacation like i like to budget a lot like and stay on budget and like save all that but when i'm on vacation i'm like yo no i'm i'm on vacation you i'm not about to try to save two dollars on guacamole <laughs> just to save a few dollars like right. this but in the same sense like yo when you're having fun or you just like don't go crazy and go 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 Feel me? You come back the next week with it. Blow your life right here. Yeah, like, yeah, nah, I say no lack. boundaries, bro. Relax. Right, exactly. But definitely, definitely enjoy it when you're on that vacation, so you can really flush out whatever stress you're feeling for real. But that's what I think. What you think, though? I feel like you said a lot of good things there, but one thing I want to pick up on is just outlining what fun looks like to you. Mm-hmm. And you said co- there's a lot of things you touched on, um, but I want to say outlining what fun looks like to you because mm-hmm. right now fun may be. You may be young. You might like to hit the club, talk mm-hmm. to the shorties. You mm-hmm. might like to smoke. You may like to drink now. Mm-hmm. But I feel like as you get older and get more awareness in your life and understand where you want to be, mm-hmm. you have to understand 
through those same fun tasks get you closer to where you got to be. Right. And if not, how can I reintroduce or reconfigure what fun means right. to me right. while still being disciplined? Right. It's like what you said, having to cope with being disciplined. Yeah. I would try to reframe it because mm -hmm. words are powerful. Cope yeah, yeah, is just like, like, uh, yeah, shit, right. oh, I gotta be this shit. Shit. Like, yeah, 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 right. Or you're just forcing it. Right. But there's actual fun that can be had from being disciplined mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna happen immediately. Right. But when you do start to embrace some of those sacrifices mm -hmm. and some of those things that you're not doing, it just becomes like a second nature. And right. I feel like that's the key. Yeah. Really making it be your second nature. And there'll be less of a balance in that. And to your point, I don't think you'll ever necessarily have like a perfectly balanced yeah, right, life. Right, right, you'll never right. just be sitting there like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> right, yeah, right, yeah, right. You feel me? <laughs> Float on I'm, Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> one, eight, right. one, one leg on like a bouncy ball. Right. Or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, okay. But I feel like it's a constant struggle. Like you're yeah, always going to yeah, be balancing yeah, the yeah. whole time. Yeah, right. So just outlining what fun looks like to you, mm -hmm. what discipline looks like to you in mm -hmm. terms of where you want to go. And finding that happy medium because if you, a lot of the times I feel like we try to put definitions that different people made and apply it to our lives. Right. So I feel like a lot of people would be like, okay, discipline, that means I have to go to the gym seven days a week, yeah, right. I can't eat, I can't do right. this. But it's really just about building helpful habits that's going to get you to where you want right, to be. Right, right. And like ignoring the short term emotion. No state. Right. That's how I look at it. I agree. Um, so there's a lot of fun to be had with that, especially yeah. in the development phase. It's mm -hmm. just about reframing. I think. Yeah. Um, a lot of the times, like fun is looked through, especially in our culture, through like a materialistic lens. Mm -hmm. um, especially with like social media and everything being perpetuated now, with, mm -hmm. like how everyone is living this luxury lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of fun in the process. Of becoming more disciplined right so it's for just sure. about reframing too. for sure for sure i agree and i think with with the fun like even like how we're saying like the fun develops as you get older like i feel like we're it's like we're yearning for the same things but it just shows up different how so? like when you go out to the club and you're partying and having a good time you're just yoling for like yoling <laughs> you're yearning <laughs> yolo <laughs> you're yearning for like a social experience so now where it's like, all right, instead of the club, you might go to like a little event, like something a little more calm, but it's still like, it's, I feel like as long as it's, it's, it's more productive than negative. Like, let's say you had a, like a networking event, you have like a drink or two, you calm, you ain't on some, but you, you still drinking, which is like, you know, bad or whatever, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool, yeah, cool. Okay. but you're okay. still, it's still like some positive to it. You feel mm -hmm. me? But. Whereas in the club, I mean, I'm not gonna shit on the club. I go to the club every yeah. now and then. I ain't shitting on the club, but it's just like it's not a lot of productivity that comes there, and you don't really look for productivity there. But yeah. when you go to like a networking event or something like that's within your craft, let's say like it's a um, whatever your craft is, but something that a gathering of people basically, and you still can have that social experience outside of the club. Yeah. And I don't think we really look for those outside of the club for real, dude. Like, cause when, whenever it's like time to have fun or have a birthday, it's like, yo, we're going to the club, like, or we're going to turn up. You feel me? So I, that's what I, I that's what I would say. I agree, and everything I feel like we just covered is super important and true. Mm -hmm. But for, what about for people that's just starting? That's just like, man. Fuck all this self growth shit. Yes, I want to be better, <laughs> but it's not fun. Like, it's not I don't fun. care what nobody say. I want to go out and I want to have fun. How do I balance that and still be good at what I want to do? How do you balance it? Um, I think really, all right. So let's say, all right. This is this is like, like this is like a um a practical way of thinking about it. Let's say it's Sunday, mm -hmm. and you know you got certain things to do. Schedule out everything you got to do like within that week and then fit the fun around that. So after you go to work or after you work on your business, after you go to the gym, everything, all that is all scheduled in, whatever gaps you have is whatever you put in to like, all right, I'm gonna have fun with. Same goes for like budgeting. Mm -hmm. You set out, set out how, what you spending on everything and then whatever you have left over is like, all right, this is, give yourself that room to fuck up. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Not even fuck up, but like to, yeah. to, to just 
splurge on and like just enjoy. Yeah, but that's nah, what I would say. I couldn't agree more. I feel like you hit the nail right. I was just about to say that time yeah, management is right, key. Right up. It's like once you understand what has to get done and how much time you have to mm-hmm. do it. I feel like a lot of times we feel like we don't have enough time mm-hmm. in a day, which I feel like that's still all mm-hmm, the time. Right. Um, but with that being said, a lot of that is caused to us not managing it properly and us just like being on the phone. Yeah, like, right, wait, right. Though, wait, how much wasted time we get so on the phone time. doing like random so little shit time, that yeah. means no, that does yeah. nothing for us. Um, so you want to be conscious of that. And in addition to that, you just... If there's like something where it's like your vices are just like killing you mm-hmm. and you can't beat it, mm-hmm. it sounds corny, but I highly recommend meditation, especially at the strongest urges. Um, for me personally, it's a work, especially like when I have like strong urges just to like fuck up my whole <laughs> like, <laughs> no, my whole man. discipline track. Right. Um, sometimes taking that time to just sit down and breathe, highly recommend doing it with a blindfold mm-hmm. because you get just pure darkness. Mm-hmm. Um, and just breathing in and out for like 15, 10 to 15 minutes, it'll take that little edge off to do the dumb shit that you was just about yeah, to do. Yeah, right, right. Um, so that's just a little tool to try. I know yeah. meditation sounds corny, but it does work. Yeah. Um, it's like just silences that noise. Like I yeah, get it, it takes the off pressure off. Yeah, like, right, right. It's like your head could be screaming at yeah. you to do something. You take like three deep breaths or mm-hmm. five and you like you feel a little bit Relax. different already. Six yeah. Days. And it works. Right and it up. sounds like it doesn't, but mm-hmm. it really do. Right. Um and it's not like you're about to come out a whole you're right, right. Like, monkey, shallow right. monk. Right. Yeah. Just be bald and just, you're right. just super right. zen, you won't say another word. But <laughs> yeah. it'll may help you make better decisions. Right. Another thing I heard drinking water too. I don't really know if that does work. I drink mm-hmm. water all the time. Not so. for sure. That's probably why I'm, I'm so drink great. soda nowadays. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> I'm so great. I feel that. I feel that. I feel shit. that. I'm talking shit. I feel but, that. But um, I heard just a lot of people make bad decisions when they're dehydrated. Again, I don't know from personal experience, but that's just something I saw on social media. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Right. Yeah. No, I agree. Definitely, definitely need to stay hydrated. Now, let me ask you, is there any way, because right, we're talking about, I think either me or you mentioned it, but having fun within your discipline is there ways like aside from trying to have fun like while not being disciplined yeah is there ways to be fun within your like finding ways to be fun within your discipline basically yeah i think the whole i was re, i was listening to the 50 cent like audio book mm-hmm. and he was saying this thing the whole concept of whistle while you work mm-hmm. having fun while you're doing it right. enjoy the process um even with this podcast right mm-hmm. we get in front of we have these conversations regularly regardless right um so us just putting this camera in front of us at first it little it tightens right, up a little right, bit right, get that right, tense yeah, feeling right. but when we get used to it, it actually becomes a fun process right, that exactly. whether it pops or not we're still doing this as a creative outlet for mm-hmm. something that we wasn't doing before. And right. we're very productive. We're becoming better speakers. Right. We're noticing things that we're doing when in like post production when mm-hmm. we're reviewing ourselves. We're mm-hmm. like, okay, we should, should stop this. Right. Um shorten up on the cursing. Right, you know, right, things right, like right, that. Yeah, so right. it's productive regardless of what's happening and you're having fun while doing it. So aligning your passions. One of the things I like to do regardless of whatever I'm doing is just listen to music while mm-hmm. I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, if I can maintain that focus, if I'm not like reading or typing mm-hmm. and I know the words, sometimes mm-hmm. they mess mm-hmm. me up. But listening to music is easily one of the best ways to increase the amount of fun you have and why you're doing something. Um, that. that gets me through everything. Right, right. Music. Right. Yeah, <laughs> music, yeah, yeah. music is like the key. Nah, for sure. I'm not gonna lie. I feel that. Like, music will get you through it. Music get me through it. Um, in terms of other things you could have fun while being disciplined, um, you could create a reward system for every little, like, I wouldn't go too far yeah, with right, it. Right, right, um, right. But if you overcome a milestone during the week or do something that she was like super scared to do, I would give myself a reward, try something new. Um, either one like little slither of that vice that you're avoiding yeah, right. or like do something completely different that you always wanted to try like a little mini bucket list item right, like I said. Right. Um, just to keep that reward system going because you right. are doing great things and it's important to keep that momentum going right. you don't want to get burnt out mm-hmm. you know? yeah we talked about that yeah, right right I feel that what about you how you feel um I like the reward thing I think um Maybe like, like, make like gamify it. I would say, mm. try to gamify it. I, I think I spoke about this on another episode, but just like on the like when I first this is still, son I still do to this day. But when I first started um 
like uh the, like working out and stuff the little calendar thing yeah so like every time i look at the calendar it's like i want to see a green check on there you feel me so basically i write it said it before but i'm gonna say it again it's a red x or whatever for days i don't go green check for what days i do go so it's just like trying to stack those up or um or make it a make it like a friendly competition i'm like yo rev yeah we gotta do this, da da da, da. and he like nah, bro, do this, and then it's like ah, I bet say no more. I'm a, I'm a da. So just like trying to, trying to make it like a friendly competition where it's like ah, right, now it's fun. Like, like if you playing ball, it's like it's, it's easy. Like, like that's what we do. Like yo, nah, I'm a I'm shit on you, bro. It's over. Right. <laughs> it's like right. It is like it's and it make you go harder. It make you like that's a good point. That mm-hmm. adding somebody into it for that right. competition sake. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen that like push a lot of people like posting. Having that results uh, thing where you like post yourself in the gym, making yeah. sure you keeping people accountable. Right. Um, that could be like a fun little trend for certain people. Making it a new hobby, like if mm-hmm. you want to. How do I say this? Like if you're becoming, if you want to get nice at like the stock market, right? I would say go to like a stock meeting or like mm-hmm. go to something where like industry professionals are there and like see what they do for fun mm-hmm. and see if like their lifestyle intrigues you or if they're like i'm not saying you gotta copy them and bite yeah, them right, right, right. right. Shit, I'm just saying, yeah if that's what it takes yeah that too <laughs> if you gotta do what you gotta do for real yeah. but i'm saying like see just open up your uh possibility for different hobbies because mm-hmm. you never know there might be something out there that you never even tried basically right, i'm right. saying try new things yeah. as you get more disciplined more within your study I think that's a forever thing too like just trying new things yeah. like constantly trying new things like don't ever think like something is like too hard or too um anything that makes you uncomfortable has the potential to grow you yeah so if only on a positive end like if it's on the other yeah. side that'll be yeah. 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 apply that as yeah. you yeah. right <laughs> please use common sense people <laughs> but um I think, because I think a lot of times we get stuck, like the older we get, the more stuck in our ways we get. And what's been working might make you good, but what's been working might not make you great. Mm. So I think just keep on trying to try new things, refine things, tweak things. There is always a better way. There's nothing that you do that is, you're doing it the best way possible. There's always a little bit tweak you could do, or, you know, just trying to find, like fine tune it basically. And, just make it better, but yeah. And to add to that, damn, I totally forgot. What I, was <laughs> I didn't know it's what I was good. gonna say, but um, it's so good. But let me ask you. Um, now, let's say, how do you how do you stay? You're disciplined, but. Right, what if you're having too much fun? How do you veer from having too much fun into getting into discipline? Like, what if you're like your your bar, right? It's more fun than discipline, and you're like, damn. Like you said, I hear you, but yeah. And it's not like, it's not like I wanna I wanna have a little fun when I'm disciplined, but I'm like having fun every day. Yeah, like, doing, how do you switch the switch? I'm doing way too much. Yeah, yeah, like how do you switch the switch? Like, yo, alright, let me really get discipline. To be honest, you gotta hit like a bottom point. You yeah, gotta reach rock that's bottom, a fact. where it's like, that's a fact. all right, I gotta live my life better. Right. I gotta change my life. I'm not yeah. living right. Yeah. Um. So it's I take think more than a podcast, basically. It's gonna take more than us telling you some tips on how to do it. Yeah, your right, bank account right. gotta hit negative. Yeah. 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 You gotta be on your last, no, last. Right you gotta get a miracle from God to mm-hmm. save you, and then yeah. now you reconsidering your whole lifestyle. Right. It might take that. Hopefully, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Um, um, some things you can always do is just reevaluate where you are in your life in terms of like how far you are away from your goals. Right. But with that being said, sometimes it's just gonna take rock bottom. Yeah. Like for me, like even sometimes when I knew I should have been doing better, mm-hmm. it really don't hit you until it's like, all right, you have yeah, to. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, ain't no you choice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so unfortunately, a lot of us need that. Mm-hmm. But if you don't need that, you're definitely one of the more fortunate ones. Mm-hmm. And, always just keeps striving to do better but yeah that fun that fun is gonna run out it's at gonna some run point. out it's gonna, it's run, gonna out. run out at it's some point out. so you gonna be like yes yeah, it's, it's it's about that time right so let me back to the question about not being able to balance do you truly think you'll never be able to balance i don't think there's ever nah because i feel like 
All right, to succeed, I think it takes an incredible amount of focus um, and like, not like literal hard work, but just like hard work, eth like hard work ethic. Yeah. So it's like with that, I don't, but cause I don't, I, even with that, right? Let's say, let's say you make it, you do everything, you cross all your, cross everything off your list. I think as forward thinkers, you're always going to have that hunger for more. And I don't think you just, you just cross that line and then you're like, all right, if vacation is every day, you're saying like, damn, like I need, I need, I just need that, like that hunt, that chase, like something to, to take down for real. Like, yeah. like the most successful people in the world, they still like trying That's, to do yeah. something. You feel me? So that just goes to show like, yo, you're always going to be working. Like the work may change, but you're always going to be working. You're always going to be like just just trying to create something so i but to say there's a balance i think because whenever you're having fun you're you, you i'm rethinking it now that i'm thinking about it yeah you're talking yourself out yeah i'm like i'm rethinking it mm -hmm. but like i don't a hundred percent balance i don't think though but i can see how like because i was going to say like when you're going like when you're t going like having fun and getting off of the like the carousel it's like you could be recharging so that's mm -hmm. Hot, like in a way contributing to it still because you're 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 like decompressing to get better at whatever you're trying to do mm. or like you know get more focused so I, in some way that's a balance but i don't think simultaneously it ever it can like it occur like you can't be like, all right today i'm gonna work tomorrow i'm not today i'm gonna work tomorrow i'm not mm. and like it'd be like a hundred percent like yeah that's, like equal. That's what you're okay. yeah yeah but what you think? Yeah, I think I think balance is achievable. I just think it's not forever. Mm -hmm. Like balance, you may achieve balance for a certain period of time, but then something else may become out of balance because you balance at all other areas that you want to balance at the time. Mm -hmm. Then you may reflect and be like, hey, something in my life is I'm not doing something that I really need to be doing right mm -hmm. now. And then you'll readjust and recalibrate and right, get right. some more of that into mm -hmm. your life. And then that may be good for a certain amount of time. Then you realize, oh, I haven't been neglecting this. Right. Let me try to rebalance this. I feel right. like it's just a game. Yeah. Literally, yeah. like one of my yeah. first tests, I want to get it balanced in skills mm -hmm. and like have like that little half sleeve you was talking about. Yeah. Like, because I really feel like that's the whole game of life. Right? Yeah. Just balancing and figuring out what the equation is for you. Because mm -hmm. everybody got a little different balance some yeah. people want to chill more yeah, yeah. some people want more bread so they're gonna like work more mm -hmm. it all depends on what you want some people yeah. value family more some people value mm -hmm. connections to personal people that's whether like the whole sims game bro yeah <laughs> it's really up to you so it depends on the person but mm -hmm. you have to identify what that looks like for you and i feel like a lot of the biggest problems when it comes to balance which we didn't even really touch on is just the expectations that's set by others upon your life mm -hmm. you didn't even set those expectations exactly. so. I think everybody really just needs to take a step back and understand what they want to do with right. themselves and then try to find that balance. Because even this is something I went through personally where mm -hmm. it's like, especially this is why I don't be on the gram like that a lot. Because I'll be saying everybody in the gram living their best life on vacation, doing mm -hmm. all this. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, am I wasting something? Am yeah, I not right, doing right, something right? right? right. But then it's like, nah, that's how they living. Yeah, I don't got to live like that. Exactly, you know what exactly, I mean? Exactly. So there's just different... Um, definitions that we could all create for our lives so now i feel that that's on you i feel like i feel that into that grand point um i think this was in the millionaire next door like i read the millionaire next door and you you, you read the millionaire next door? Uh, no so it was saying how like basically this was either the millionaire minor or millionaire next door mm -hmm. but like some people will wear their net like or not wear but they'll have their net worth and different things some people have it like on the asset sheet. Some people will have it in car. Some people will have it in clothes. Some people will be on vacation. So it'd be like, everybody has their way of like spending their net worth basically or spending their, their money. Mm -hmm. And it shows up. Whereas like, yo, you can't really come up and be like, yo, this is my stocks. I got a certain amount of Apple stock. There's nowhere in the world yeah. you can have a, unless it's a conversation about it. There's no, you can't throw a hundred Apple stocks in, in this strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Show these ain't going off with no Apple stocks, man. You feel me? No. <laughs> it ain't it ain't gonna fly. So it's like it's just like you feel me? So it's just like 
Where we'd be like, damn, I want shit. I want some motherfucking whatever it be, even at the time it is. Like, but it's just to know, like, all right, that's where the discipline come back in. Like, all right, let me, you still, you still, you feel me, chugging away. All right, let me just put this up. Da 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 da. All right. You could, you could enjoy the like the fruits of the labor, but to like even the most affluent people, like that, that at least that we see, they're still not on vacation every day. Like, right. Like so, when you see that, you know something, ain't right? Because it go back to the quote: like they're winners, they embrace the sacrifice, exactly. they embrace that hard struggle. Exactly. Because they spent all their time doing that to get there. Exactly. They recalibrated their mind frame. Exactly. They think they they used to probably think like oh, or maybe they, some people started like this their whole life, which mm-hmm. is crazy. Mm-hmm. Some people really found that switch where it's like, wow, I truly do enjoy this grind, this right. struggle, mm-hmm. this uh, sacrifice, and I feel like it really just depends on the purpose. Um, right. The more time you spend at a craft you truly enjoy mm-hmm. the more you're going to enjoy mm-hmm. sacrificing and spending time right doing it. right um and the more you just focus on the end and not the actual process mm-hmm. the more it's going to feel like work right. at least you're going to want to balance that discipline and fun because you feel like you're already suffering so much yeah when you're putting in that time so you just want to lash out and just get some of your time back right so right it's it's a trip, man, mm-hmm. but ultimately you gotta know what you want for your life. That's a fact. That's a fact. Like hone in on it. Like yeah. and it's really a lot what you tell yourself. Like like you said, whistle while you work. You feel me? It's like if you gotta if you gotta scrub floors, if you gotta valet park, it's like, yo, I'm doing this right now. Whatever you got in your mind, just keep that in your mind. But you yeah. know right now, whatever I right, let's say like let's say you like we're gonna just give a random scenario. You like twenty four and you wanted to you wanted to go to the NBA or something, but right now you valet parking. Even like when you was in high school, you still was like, damn, I can't wait to get a first job. Like, yo, I need to get some a few dollars to just shop up. So even even with the small wins, there's still wins. Cause like if you look at your past self, it's like, yo, I did half of the shit I wanted to do. Like, or at least I'm making progress to them. So I would just say like, yo, whistle while you work. Like, get it yeah. done, cause. The only other route is to complain. Nobody don't give a damn about that. So, yeah. and uh, another thing, man, that regret word. Don't don't regret your life, man. Right. Like, that's why it's right. important to understand what you want now, so mm-hmm. you don't look back and be like, damn, I should have did this. I exactly. should have that. That I feel like that hurts the most in the world. That's my whole goal is to never be like a woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah, yo, that. I hate to be the fifty-five. Oh old. my god! Man, oh, back in twenty twenty-three, that ain't real high. <laughs> Oh boy, God, it's 2058. Yeah. <laughs> Get your old ass off. I'm trying to hear about that, bro. Oh, it's all bro. about what's happening, not what you did. So, Word up. Um, yeah, definitely that. stay true to what you got to do. I was about to go somewhere with that, but I lost it, bro. <laughs> I think we had a great conversation. Nah, word up. Um, anything you want to add? Any questions? Um, I would say, okay, let's say. Let's say, right, uh, would you rather have, you know, this is off the top, but yeah. let's, let's see, um, would you rather have, you have to be uh, disciplined for 30 years from today, but then the rest of your life, you get to um have fun, or have fun for 20 years today, or 20 years from today, and then have to like, be on the grind, all that for the last few years ago. Last few years, yeah, yeah last nah. few years. Nah, I already made my choice. That's all working now. <laughs> <laughs> I already made my choice, bro. I'm grinding now, so that's a no brainer. Hopefully, no hopefully, I fall in love with it on right. the way there. Right. I'm already kind of starting to enjoy certain certain aspects mm-hmm. about it, so my mind frame is starting to change. Mm-hmm. Um, and to that point, I yeah, I'd rather just work now, mm-hmm. and because it's funny, I had what you said about just appreciate when you are i was thinking about damn what was i 15 years ago right. i was like i was 10. right 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 right, right. <laughs> I, I was like my financial has grown from 10 Yo, to 25. 10 fucking and when i become, two thousand, three thousand when you become 40. right right so i'm like oh right when i thought of it like that mm-hmm. i'm like i might be on track you right. know what i'm saying right. so um right. sometimes like you said you gotta appreciate where you are mm-hmm. but i i just to like you said to keep on that discipline track and stay on track and um not get dragged down but yeah mm-hmm. i'd rather just work bro because like turn that switch from fun 
to discipline is hard, right? mm-hmm. especially when you ain't have no discipline your whole life. Yeah, you just, right. Just funded it out, mm-hmm. and now you got to refocus. It feels like you can't do it. Mm-hmm. It feels like your brain don't work the same. Right. It's crazy. Right. No, no cap. Yeah. Because usually with fun, it's like, yo, I want something, you get it. Yeah. It's dis- instant. Discipline ain't that instant. It's like, yo, you, you're in, you're on your discipline because it has that outcome. But right. that takes time. The outcome may not even happen. Yeah. It's not guaranteed. Yeah, right. That's what we talked about last time. So it's not guaranteed at all. That's crazy. You got to have that faith. Hey, if you got... This shit really don't matter. The towards what well, matters, but it doesn't really relate towards the topic. But if mm-hmm. you could have a coin flip, mm-hmm. or would you rather have a guaranteed two hundred k or a coin flip for forty mil? Like right now, it's not like yo, it's coin right here, forty mil or two hundred k guarantee. Yeah, I'm going for the forty, man. Going I'm going for the forty. I think I, I'm going for the forty. I don't know, bro. I don't I'm know. Really, cause the, <laughs> It's what did it really change your life, though? Forty, yeah, that's what two hundred ain't really because some you can't even get a house out here for two hundred. No, you feel me? Barely, much. barely. You could barely get a house. But it's a guaranteed two hundred. It's a guaranteed two hundred. But if that shit land on four, it's fifty fifty. It's the odds yeah. of fifty. <sighs> let me think. Let me How think. much would two hundred k right now change your life? How much would it change my life? And I got okay. Two questions there. How much would it two hundred k right now change your life? Mm-hmm. You may you, you don't gotta answer. And how mad would you be if you didn't hit that forty mil? How mad would you? Be, yeah, how mad would you be if that shit didn't? Happen? All right, two hundred right now. Is I don't think it would be a drastic change. I don't think it'd be. It would. It would. You can feel me speed up some things, but yeah. I don't think two hundred would really be like a night and day kind of difference. Cause two hundred. Yeah, two. I don't think it would be like. You feel me? But I agree. Um, the forty though. If I missed it. I'm like, let me give you like a band to flip again. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck off. Right? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yo, just to think. Nah, I was thinking about that. And I'm like, I'm so risk averse. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll, except like with the stock market and everything, I don't like betting. So right, right, stuff right. like that. Right. Not with it. Right. So I was thinking, man, that would suck not mm-hmm. getting that guaranteed two hundred. Yeah. But that it's not going to change my life that drastically, like you said. It'll, okay. it'll speed some things up. Or it up. But I ultimately think I'm gonna get there. Right. Yeah. Point. Forty million dollars guaranteed. Yeah. Would Forty. That's what I'm saying. Forty would change my life right now. Right. Because even like a mil, like not to sound like oh fucking, but a million is like you could get a nice house and be good for a few years with a million. Yeah. If you live a modest life. Yeah. But forty is like all right, now you could really you could start your own you yeah could restart you, your life yeah you yeah, could yeah, you, yeah. yeah. you could you could you, you could keep do like some ten shit. in the market right. get some off dividends get some like guaranteed come income on, off dividends what? and still just be living your best life what? I was looking like, buildings like come on now. and people don't understand like a million or three million I was looking at three million specifically mm-hmm. and I was like damn I could live I could have a hundred thousand dollars for thirty years off of three million dollars. That's if you could live yeah, all of a hundred thousand dollars well, right now. No, that inflation will get your ass. Inflate, yeah. Inflation will get your ass. Inflation will get yeah, for sure. Inflation. <laughs> no, but I'm saying mathematically though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like literally yeah. hundred, oh, hundred every year. A hundred thousand every year for thirty years, and that's, and that's three that, million. Yeah, yeah, that's not forty. Yeah. Your lifestyle could. Wait, wait, wait. Oh God, God, God. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Your lifestyle could go up, and it's still. Right. But you still have room to be okay. Right. But forty, I'm talking about. So, um, but then look at it this way: that two hundred is only two years. Not twenty years. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, you feel me? That two hundred thousand. Yeah, no, yeah, I already. Yeah. That's only two years. You feel me? And it's like. Yeah. Cool. And what what is that? Like a few a few bands a month. Like, I mean, it, it's it's something. Yeah. But it's just what it's stacked against. It's just it's just hard to really turn down that forty. And like I'm, I'm definitely with the risk averse. I'm risk averse too, but that's only like when there's a downside. If this there's is no downside. Ain't no downside. Yeah. If I could just that's, flip it, I, I guess I, the downside you don't get the twenty. Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah. I had to be getting one. Yeah, exactly. Like you, 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 you feel me? Yeah, type. But type. yeah, I'll take the forty. I ain't gonna no lie. cat. But yeah, man, stay. So the final words is stay disciplined. Find ways to make discipline fun. Even we touched on it. Ways you could do it. Um. And yeah, what you got any final words? Like my boy Larry June said, invest in yourself, but still have a little fun. Mm-hmm. Find that balance, move on purpose, 
And like I, like we always say, we don't know what you're doing, but we hope you're moving on purpose. Yes, yeah, sir. This has been another episode. Tap back in with us. Signing out. You did. Bow! Right on.